Hello. Today we're going to learn how to turn a computer keyboard into a musical keyboard. This is an old computer keyboard that we really don't need anymore. Just your standard issue USB tip. And here's the other supplies that we have. Screwdriver, measuring tape, a pencil, a large piece of cardboard. We're going to cut this up and turn this into the actual uh, keyboard itself. And once we dismantle the computer keyboard, we'll need to rewire it with some copper wire. <laughs> now this will be a keyboard that we can have on the ground so the little ones can dance on it and play music. Alright, I have taken the screws out. I have one screw left in the back of this keyboard. All right, so now this is what the keyboard looks like when you open it up. All right, there's all these little buttons that protect the connections, and these are the undersides of all the keys. And here's the circuitry. Now, what we want to keep track of is these little connections here where this that close the circuit for each one of these uh, for each one of the buttons on the keyboard we're gonna rewire So now I have taken wire. insulated copper wire and I've cut it into lengths of about 30 inches long um, so since this is insulated copper wire we've got to take a lighter and we have to burn off the insulation because otherwise we won't be able to make a nice connection with it. So we've got these little rubber buttons that we uh, pulled out of the keyboard, cut them up, and we've got the insulated cord that I melted off the insulation, and fortunately these are sharp enough you can poke them right through the top. Alright, so you see we've poked this all the way through, and we pull it out the other side, and then since this is one, one of the sides that's going to make the contact, you have to twirl it up like a little pigtail around the tip. <clears throat> if that's what you want, you want this to be a little spiral shape. So inside there, you get the what's going to be the top half of the connection on the keyboard. So now we have the holes cut out on the piece of cardboard, and we've got our foot model practicing on them. The holes don't look too pretty, but they look like they're the right, just about the right size for his feet. Alright, so here's what I'm doing here. I'm taking the end of these copper wires and I am spiraling them up and I'm keeping track of what letters they connect to on here. So for example, you can see one that I'm just about to tie in a better spiral. It's connected onto one of the little circles on the bottom. There's a corresponding circle at the top. And I just make sure that I tape it so it touches both of those but they don't touch each other. So I can complete the circuit here on um, my aluminum foil on the cardboard. Alright, now this is wired up correctly inside the keyboard. If we zoom in on the Z key we can see that we have wired this top and bottom with little spirals of wire. And this now works as a key with the aluminum foil kind of helping make the connection there. Now if you want to uh, be able to debug this, you actually plug in the, the keyboard into a computer. And then, if, and then you can use this when you tap the... Uh, now I've wired this into the Z key and as you can see, every time I touch this, it uh, fires off the Z key on the screen. We'll use that later. F-T-N-E-H. We're missing H. You're right. There is no H, but that's because we're doing the letters from um, the musical scale, and there is no H. As, um, as our friend pointed out here, uh, this is not the full alphabet, this is just letters from a scale. Notice, I, I've printed these out on cardstock. We're going to slice these up and, and they're going to cover up our uh, foot pads that we, that we just looked at. So now I've repeated the process uh, for all eight of the keys, um, from Z all the way through C. 
Um, just for simplicity's sake, uh, this now triggers the Z key. Uh, uh, it triggers a, a signal of a, of a Z key press um, in the wired-up keyboard. Um, and then all the others actually are, are wired to the, the corresponding letters on the keyboard. Here is the finished keyboard. Um, it has some black keys on it, which don't do anything. They're just there for decoration. They're uh, cardstock. Um, and there's lots of packing tape on top of all these uh, keys just to keep them sort of shiny and to make sure that the, uh, the cardstock and the, and the paper doesn't get torn up too much. So here is uh, my lovely anonymous wife. Um,